time taken by him when his speed was 4 km that he reached 5 minutes early will be equal to time taken by him when the speed is 5 km and he reaches 2 and a half minutes early. For 1 minute, the tank will be filled 1 by 10th of it. So therefore, for 60 minutes, it can take 10 minutes. The sum of all the work in the form of 1 by 20, 1 by 30 and 1 by 60 will give you the complete work in one particular day. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is Yashruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. So we are at the session 2 revision class of the chapter ratios and proportion. Previously, I have discussed one mark and two mark question from the chapter ratios and proportion. Here in this session, we will be discussing the three mark and five mark question. Let us see what are the types of question you may get or arrive for the examination this year. So let us see what are the types of question we may get or arrive for this academic year. Before that, again, we will look at the distribution of marks from this chapter. 1 1 mark, 1 2 mark, 1 3 mark, 1 5 mark, total 11 marks from this chapter. Let us see the 3 mark question now. In a fort, there was a ration for 560 soldiers that would last the soldiers for 70 days. After 20 days, 60 soldiers left the fort. How many days the remaining ratio can support the remaining soldiers? So now, initially there were 560 soldiers and the food would last for 70 days. But after 20 days, 60 soldiers left. So therefore, the food accordingly after 20 days means the remaining days is only 50 days. But since 60 soldiers have left, the food will last for few more days. So let's see for how many days the food can support the remaining soldiers. So first let's write remaining soldiers. So remaining soldiers is now out of 560, 60 left, only 500, remaining days. So remaining days is 70 minus 20 is equal to 50. Now, so here we have soldiers and here we have days. So we are calculating for the remaining. Now, for 560 soldiers, the remaining days was 50. Now, since the soldiers are left, so that means we have only 500 soldiers. How many days the food will last? So, therefore, what is the value of x I will get here? So, I will get 560 is to 500 is equal to x is to 50. So, therefore, this implies x is equal to so, I will get 560 into 50 divided by 500. 0, 0, 0, 0 get cancelled, 5, 5 get cancelled. So, therefore, x is equal to 56 days. So, this represents the number of days. So, therefore, for how many remaining days the ration can support here? It can support for 56 days. That is extra 6 days it can support the remaining soldiers. Next question, walking 4 km per hour, a student reaches his college 5 minutes late and if he walks at 5 km per hour, he reaches 2 and a half minutes early. What is the distance from his house to the college? So we know that the speed is equal to distance by time. So time is nothing but distance by speed. So let me take, let the required distance is equal to x. So therefore, for time taken, time taken when he walks 4 kilometer per hour. This will be x divided by 4 because this is the speed. So, it will be distance by speed. Next, time taken when 
he walks 5 km per hour so that will be x divided by 5 now here when the time taken was 4 km hour e reaches 5 minutes late that is 5 by 60 since it is late i am writing minus here that is equal to when he reaches the college 5 minutes early he reaches 2 and half minutes early so here time taken by him when his speed was 4 km that he reached 5 minutes early will be equal to time taken by him when the speed is 5 km and he reaches 2 and half minutes early. So that's we can find the distance here. So here we can get x by 4 minus 5 by 60 is equal to x by 5 plus 5 by 120. So interchanging the variables and numerals we will get x by 4 minus x by 5 is equal to 5 by 120 plus 5 by 60. So solving x by 4 x by 5 we get so 5x minus 4x is x 5 4s are 20 we get x by 20. And here we have so the same 5 by 120 plus 5 by 60 we will get this as 15 by 120. So now we can cancel 0, 0 here, 2 1s are, 2 6s are here. So 6 1s are divided by 15, 6 2s are 12, 3 remainder, 3 0. So 0 0.5, 6 5s are 30. So therefore it is equal to 2.5 kilometers. So what is the distance between the college and the house of a student? It is 2.5 kilometer. Next question. Five carpenters can earn rupees 540 in six days working nine hours a day. How much will eight carpenters earn in 12 days working six hours a day? So let's write each separately. We have here carpenters. Next we have days. Next for how many hours? Next year earnings. So, 5 carpenters can work 6 days for 9 hours and they will earn rupees 540. Next, so now we have 8 carpenters working for 12 days and 6 hours and what is their earnings? So, here you can see five, the ratios in the form of 5 is to 8, 6 is to 12, 9 is to 6 and 540 is to x. So as the number of carpenters days increases, the earnings also increases. So hence, they are direct ratios to the earnings. So therefore, we can write them as 5 is to 6 into 9 into x is equal to 8 into 12 into 6 into 540. So therefore, we get x is equal to 8 into 12 into 6 into 540 divided by 5 into 6 into 9. So we get x is equal to rupees 1920. So this is the earnings when 8 carpenters can work 12 days for 6 hours and their earnings will be rupees 1920. Since all of them are direct to the earnings, we can write the ratio and calculate their earnings. Next question, if rupees 120 maintains a family of 4 people for 30 days, how long rupees 300 maintain a family of 6 people? So here persons and here cost and days. So if 120 rupees can maintain a family of four person for 30 days. Then rupees 300 can maintain a family of six people for how many days? Clearly they are inverse to each other. So here cost is also increased, persons is also increased. So let's see how many days it can take. So therefore they are inverse to each other. So here Cost and days are direct proportional. So I can write 120 is to 300 
is equal to 30 is to I'll take this as x. So here persons and days are inversely proportional as the number of person increases days may decrease. So therefore here what happens since they are inverse I can write 6 is to 4 is equal to 30 is to 6. Hence I can write the ratio as 6 into 120 into x is equal to 4 into 300 into 30. So therefore x is equal to 4 into 300 into 30 divided by 6 into 120. So 30 4 is 120, 120 cancels 6, 6 5 is 30. So therefore x is equal to I can write here 50 and this is the number of days. So it can maintain a family for 50 days for rupees 300 for 6 persons. So next question. Four men or 12 boys can do a job in five days working eight hours per day. In how many days can two men and four boys can do the same job working 12 hours a day? So clearly, so four men is nothing but 12 boys. So that means one man is nothing but three boys. So therefore, two men and four boys is nothing but Two threes are six boys plus four boys is equal to 12 boys. So therefore, if boys is 12, let's keep days as it is. We have number of hours that is eight hours. And if boys are 10, let's keep number of days and we have here 12 hours. So now here we have 12 boys can do the work in five days. So since here, 4 men or 12 boys is given. That means 4 men is equal to 12 boys. So either it will be 4 men or 12 boys. So now we need to find out how many days are required for the 10 boys to do the same job in a particular day. So we can directly write this is in the form of 12 into 8 into 5 is equal to x into 10 into 12. So therefore x is equal to 12 into 8 into 5 divided by 10 into 12, 12, 12 cancel, 5 ones are, 5 twos are, 2 ones are, 2 fours are. So we get x is equal to 4 days. So next we have, two taps can separately fill a tank in 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively. The tank when full can be emptied by a drain in 20 minutes. Then the tank was empty and all the three taps were opened simultaneously. In what time will the tank be filled up? So if the time taken by the first tap is 12 minutes, then for one minute, it fills the tank one by 12th of the time. And if time taken by tap two is 15 minutes, for one minute, it fills the tank one by 15th of it. And we have one more tap, it will empty the tank. So if it takes 20 minutes to empty the tank, then for one minute, it will empty 1 by 20 of the tank. So therefore, this will be the total time taken by all the three taps. So when it is completely filled, what we will do here when the tank was empty, if the tank is empty, we will open all the three taps. So Open all the three taps means the first two taps are filling the tap. The third one is draining the water out of the tank. Hence, I have taken it here 1 by 12, 1 by 15 minus 1 by 20. So, let's solve this. This will become x is equal to, if you take the LCM for 12, 15, 20. So, you will get the value as 240. So, for the first one, 12 divides 240, 20 plus 15. Here it becomes 16 minus. So here it is 12. So we get x is equal to 24 by 240. So when you divide it, it is 1 by 10. So therefore, for one minute, the tank will be filled 1 by 10th of it. So therefore, for 60 minutes, it can take 10 minutes. So therefore, the time taken, the time taken is equal to 10 minutes. So divide rupees 1647 into 3 parts such that 
3 by 7th of the first and 2 by 3rd of the second and third are equal. So let me take the three parts as A, B and C. So they have given 3 7th of A and 2 3rd of B are equal and 2 3rd of B is equal to 4 5th of C. So now let's write take this as equation 1 and take this as equation 2. Let's write A by B. So A by B we will get it as so we will get 2 7s are 14, 3 3s are 9. We will get it as 14 divided by 9. So this implies A is to B is equal to 14 is to 9. Next we will take B by C. Then B by C becomes 3 4s are 12 divided by 2 5s are 10. So this implies B is to C is 12 is to 10. So this also implies B is to C is equal to 6 is to 5. Now we need to write out A is to B is to C. To write A is to B is to C, I should make the ratio A is to B is equal to 14 is to 9 and here B is to C which is equal to 60 is to 5. The B quantity must be same. For that I will multiply 2 here and I will multiply 3 here. So this becomes, so 14 twos are 28 is to 18 and here it becomes 18 is to 15. So therefore A is to B is to C becomes 28 is to 18 is to 15. So this implies 28x plus 18x plus 15x is equal to 1647. So when you add this you will get it as 61x is equal to 1647. x is equal to 1647 divided by 61. So this you will get x is equal to 27 rupees. Now we will write what is the value of A, what is the value of B, what is the value of C. So A is 28 into x that is 28 into 7. When you multiply 28 into 7 you will get the value as 756. The next one is 18 into 27. You will get the value as 486 and 15 into 27 you will get the value as 405. Hence we have divided the amount 1647 to 756, 486 and 405. If A can do a piece of work in 20 days, B can do it in 30 days and C can do it in 60 days. All of them began to work together. However, A left job after 6 days, B quit after 6 days before the completion of work. How many days did the work last? The sum of all the work in the form of 1 by 20, 1 by 30 and 1 by 60 will give you the complete work in one particular day. So that will be equal to 6 by 10 or will be equal to 1 by 10. So for 6 days, the work will be 6 by 10. That is equal to 3 by 5. So now remaining work. So remaining will be 1 minus 3 by 5, which is equal to 2 by 5. So now here, what happens? A left the job after 6 days and B quit after 6 days. So therefore the only person will do the work completely for 60 days is that is C. So hence C completes the work out of 60. B left earlier 6 days before C completes the job. So hence it will be X minus 6 by 30 with the remaining number of days 2 by 5. Now taking the LCM we get 60 here. So here X plus 2X minus 12 is equal to 2 by 5. We can cancel 5 ones are 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. So here we have 3x minus 12 is equal to 12 into 24. So 3x is equal to, so 24 plus 12 becomes 36. So x is equal to 12. Hence here the work will last for 12 remaining days. So these are the few questions which you can expect from 3 marks and 5 marks question. 
we'll meet you in the next session with a new chapter until then keep watching keep learning keep exploring thank you